Hi, I'm Cliff, N4CCB. In this video, I want to talk about the equipment that I took on a vacation that I recently went on. Now, today, January the 22nd of 2016, this is what it looks like outside my front door. But less than a week ago, this is what it looked like from the balcony of my condo where I was staying on the island of Bonaire. Now, I've had some time to ponder which is better, and I think Bonaire was better. We can probably all agree on that. The purpose of my vacation was to take my son to get his scuba diving certification and then to go scuba diving with him for the first time. My wife went along too, and she likes to snorkel, so there was a lot of time going to be spent in the water. But still, I wanted to do something with amateur radio. Now, the last time I went to Bonaire, which is about 50 miles off the coast of Venezuela, the last time I went to Bonaire, um, I took this. This is my KX3 in a little case. I took my KX3. I took this cigarette lighter plug so that I could power it from the truck. And I took this 20 meter, 40 meter soda beam dipole antenna. That's all I took. And I had a blast. I worked a bunch of Japanese stations. I created some little pileups, which was a lot of fun. And uh, so this time, uh, being a big fan of overkill, I decided to take more gear and to try to generate some more pileups and have a lot more fun. So through the magic of editing, I'm going to put on the table what I took this time. Kind of crazy, right? Well, I thought you might want to see what equipment that I took and why I chose to take that equipment. I did learn some valuable lessons that I'll reveal at the end of this little video. But, uh, you know, you got to have an antenna, right? And you can't just have one antenna. You got to have options, right? So I took this in-fed half-wave antenna. It's made by Radio Waves. So you can get the same sort of thing from uh, LNR Precision. This is a 100 watt version, so I thought maybe from the condo uh, I'd be able to possibly just take one piece of wire and work a few bands with this one, one strand of wire that might be kind of stealthy. I've also got uh, 50 feet of RG174 coax just because it's small. and So that's, that's an antenna with some coax. Uh, I've got my vertical antenna, the telescopic whip is inside this PVC pipe and it's got the 3 by 24 uh, connector which I use with my uh, my jaws clamp and I actually did use this to clamp it to the balcony railing on the fourth floor of the top floor of this condo that I stayed in and I also took some uh, here's 25 feet of RG8X and my stake for driving this into the sand in case I wanted to clamp this to the stake and work by the beach and my little tripod in case I was someplace that I was on a solid surface and wanted to deploy this. Uh, so there's all that. Now the other side of this case that you may remember from a, another video I did about my vertical antenna has my radials in it. So I've got a a bunch of ground radials in here so that I can have a good ground for my vertical. So there's that. But I did take my dipole as well. I had a lot of fun with this last time. I just threw a golf ball with a fishing line attached to it up into a palm tree and hoisted this up and uh, had a lot of fun. So I took three antennas with me, a bunch of rope, because you never know. And uh, so that gets us down to this case. Now, did I take a QRP radio? No, I didn't. I took a radio that could be turned down to QRP, but figuring that I might be able to work more stations if I put out a little more power um, in case I was on the fringe of coverage, I really wanted to work the US. And uh, 
it's not easy to get to the west coast from down there sometimes. But anyway, um, here's this case. And what I have in here, hopefully you can see this. I have an FT897 Yezu radio. And the reason I took this radio is because, hang on a second, I've got my HT on and uh, live TV, folks. Um, the reason I took this radio is because even though I've got radios that are a lot more fun and radios that are a lot better as far as receivers go, uh, this one has a handle. I've also got the 110 volt power supply that's built into the bottom of this thing. I've also got the batteries that go with this too. I have the LDG bolt-on tuner. So in this one package with a handle on it, I've got 100 watts, all modes, power supply, and a tuner. So if I've got this on the, din the, the dining room table, I can unplug the antenna, unplug the, the, the plug here for the power supply, pick this thing up and just walk away with it and be able to eat dinner without upsetting my wife. Uh, so here's the radio. Microphone. Just took the hand mic, but you know what? If you're gonna work a pile up, you really need a headset. So I took my Heil headset as well. And if you're working a pile up, you really need a foot pedal. So I took my Heil, you know, foot switch so that I can keep my hands on the keyboard. Keyboard. Well, I took a computer, which I've not shown you here, and I took this little box, a rig blaster plug and play so that I could do uh, CW from the keyboard and wanted to do some digital. So I took my signal link box with the appropriate cables so that I could do PSK31 or JT65 or whatever. And let's see, so if you're gonna be out there, you gotta waterproof your connection outside. So I've got some uh, 3M rubber tape that's self-fusing. And then I've also got electrical tape. So there's that. And let's see. You need some tools sometimes, so I've got two tools. I have a Leatherman, just the standard issue Leatherman. So that's good for pliers, knife, screwdriver, whatever. And I've also got this Leatherman. Uh, this is the Leatherman Crunch. The Leatherman Crunch is like a pair of vice grips. But it's also got, I've got these attachments that let me do all kinds of you know, screwdriver stuff and uh, hex, hex key stuff and Torx um, and an extension. So those two tools, the Leatherman uh, and the Leatherman Crunch, will let you do an awful lot. And those have worked out great for me on previous trips. You never know when you need to do something. Uh, what else have I got? Uh, just a little mini uh, palm, mini paddle, a palm radio and then the cables for the AC and the, uh, the LDG tuner. So, that's a pile of stuff, right? It cost me 50 bucks each way to fly this case, and this case doesn't have wheels on it, so I had to lug it around, and going back through customs uh, in Atlanta was no fun. Um, I also had a big rolling duffel with my my BCD and regulated on my snort, my scuba gear and fins and all that stuff. So I had a pretty big load. Now I had a lot of gear with me. So uh, how much fun did I have? Well, here's the lesson learned. You don't need all this junk to have a lot of fun. I actually had more fun last time by just having my little KX3 and a dipole and a cigarette lighter plug. Uh, when I had that, I would just go disappear for a few hours in the afternoon and go work some DX and have a lot of fun with that. Here with all this gear, I was pretty much limited to working inside the condo because I didn't take anything to power this, this radio with me, uh, portable. 
But more than that, this was kind of a bucket list trip for me because my son, who's 31 years old, was getting his dive certification. And I've had mine for 10 years. I've been to Bonaire, I think this was the 11th time, maybe the 12th time I've been there in 10 years. Uh, and if, if you're a scuba diver, Bonaire has got to be on your bucket list. It's just a, an amazing place. The best place to dive in the Western Hemisphere, uh, a lot of people think, and I'm one of those people. So I didn't have a lot of time for radio because of being underwater or snorkeling and spending time with my family and seeing cool stuff like this. And this. So you get the picture. I saw a lot of really cool stuff underwater and spent a lot of quality time with my son, who at 31, I haven't spent much time with lately since he moved out of the nest a long time ago. Go back to the QRP mindset. Simpler is better. Do more with less. Have more fun with less stuff. And I've reminded my wife to, to tell me, next time I try to take all this junk on a vacation, Tell me not to do it. Just remind me that a simple QRP rig with a dipole and some coax uh, was more fun than all of this stuff. So I hope that helps. Um, and uh, drop me some questions about any of this if you want, and I'll be glad to help. But uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.